Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at the new Springfield Armory Hellcat RDP Rapid Defense Package. So what is this package? Well I came up with four things that make this gun different than your standard Hellcat. Let's start with the optic itself. It's a Springfield Armory product. It's called a Hex Wasp 3.5 MOA, aluminum housed, nice clear, gla nice clear glass, and a crisp dot. And I mentioned in my tabletop review that out of the case, it looked like it co-witnessed perfectly with the Tridium front dot. And now at the range, it seems that that is the case because there were no adjustments made. And I did just so-so right there, but I'm hoping to do better. But it does come with a 3.8 inch barrel that has a compensator, so that's the second thing. And so this compensator has some, some slots all around it to disperse the gases, but it does extend the barrel length 3.8 inches. So opposed to the three inch on the standard Hellcat, this one now is available with a compensator that is aluminum, it's lightweight, easy on, easy off, and it's kind of nice. You know, I'm gonna do a slow-mo shortly to see how well it works. Same magazine capacity, all that remains the same. Um, I will mention that the, the weight difference between this model and the standard Hellcat with the red dot was uh, one and a half ounces heavier with this. I thought it would be more, but it's really not because that compensator is really lightweight. It does have a Gen 2 trigger, and in that you have a wider trigger bar safety. It's comfortable on the finger. It's, it doesn't change the trigger weight, all right? Does not change the trigger weight. So I'm, I'm still measuring right at five and a half pound trigger, which is the same I measured with the other Hellcat. And then finally, it does have a thumb safety, an ambidextrous thumb safety. All right, a lot of people like that. It's left-handed friendly and you sweep down. But you know, the one thing, like people say thumb safeties may engage, this is, not in the way at all like it's, it's very unobtrusive so when when you don't have it engaged and you don't worry about it there's really nowhere on the hand that actually well, i guess the web of my hand <laughs> touches it but on this side there's nothing there you know the thumb doesn't touch it at all so you've got the 3.8 inch barrel the compensator the gen 2 trigger the thumb safety and the Hex Wasp, which is pretty nice. Other than that, it's all Hellcat. You know, it's got that adaptive grip texturing, the 11 and 13 round magazine, a accessory rail right there, front serrations, tritium front dot, U-notch rear, bolt metal, and a nice shooting handgun. Always enjoyed the Hellcat. Let's go ahead and load this up and we'll fire it some more. One of the questions that was pretty common was the compensator. It was about the compensator. They're wondering, does it really make a difference? And, you know, I've shot guns with compensators before. Actually, my, my Desert Eagle with a muzzle brake on there, it, it 50 Action Express compared to one without the muzzle brake, it's a huge difference. Now, we're talking 50 Action Express. We're not talking 9mm. How exactly will it compare with an uncompensated Hellcat with uh, against this compensated one? We're about ready to check that out right now. Let me go ahead and set up and we'll see how well this decreases the muzzle rise. So there it is, Springfield Armory Hellcat RDP 
they've expanded the line with this and they they've been expanding the line you know you got the flat dark earth model you got the osp and now you got the rdp and it certainly will be interesting to see what they come up with after this if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe